Hello Aries, welcome to your quickie. Before we get started, I just wanted to quickly mention I have my new mid-March readings up and those are the in-depth general readings. So if at the end of this reading you'd like to hear more, you can uh, check out the rest of my channel for those. Okay Aries, let's get started with your oracle cards. From the Shapeshifters oracle, you've pulled the card of Bats in the Belfry. Now this doesn't mean that you're, you're crazy or mad or anything like that. It's actually quite the opposite. It's about achieving great things, but by doing something that others may view as mad or crazy. So other people are not on board with your plan at the moment. But I do get this sense of freedom around you. And I do feel that there is a choice that you've made. I feel it's a choice and there's people around you who feel that they're well this was a bit out of the box or something that you did here was well they don't agree with it let's let's just put it that way but you know I think that you're not paying any attention to this I get the sense that you're not worried about what others think you're just going for your dreams not staying safe and you're, you're daring to dream there's an expansive energy around you, Aries, which is uh, lovely to see. Now, the only red flag that I have is as your energy from the Destiny's Portal Oracle, you've drawn the card of Tattered Dreams. So this is where the energy came from, this Bats in the Belfry. You'll see here this fairy surrounded by ruined webs and threads. So something's happened. And everything that you may have worked on has been affected negatively in some way. There's an energy around this of feeling weakened, lessened. You'll see that she holds a rune in her hand with the symbol of Mars on it. And Mars is a powerful planet for you, Aries, that can bring energy. It can bring energy, though, both to destroy and to rebuild. So I feel that something has been destroyed. It's, it's like a, a tower moment for you. There's destruction, but it's something that needed to be destroyed so that it can be rebuilt. Rebuilt in a different way, a, a better way for you, Aries. On her left hand there perches a butterfly, a tiny but potent sign of renewal and rebirth. So something that you've believed in or counted on has unraveled. A belief has ceased to be true for you. Perhaps even a person has proven false. But an outcome has fallen far short of the expectation. It's had reverberating effects, but I do feel like the foundation around you has been shaken. There has been distress, but I do feel with this energy of the wheel pictured in this card. It's kind of a wheel of fortune energy that I'm picking up for you. This is a wheel that keeps turning. And it's a fortunate wheel and it keeps spinning in spite of endings and the same energy that may destroy something can also provide the energy to rebuild so in the midst of tattered dreams there's always this butterfly that will give you hope so i want you to focus on that i get it as re-energizing your life after some disappointment. So we'll see where this goes here for you, Aries. So as a result of this, I get that you've taken some kind of action that others believe to be maybe a little bit off the wall, but you believe, you believe that you're doing the right thing. So Aries, let's take a look. We'll focus in on your past energy, the present, the near future, your advice or your best path to follow what's happening around you that's affecting you your hopes and fears the potential outcome and what this reading is about okay Aries let's take a look your overall energy the page of swords okay well as your energy there I do feel you're testing the waters I get an energy here of you taking a leap of faith I almost get like a fool energy around this but it, it's it's 
more than the fool because I feel for you it's it's something that you have experience I, I get a little bit of experience behind it when I think of the fool I think of someone who's just blindly going forward and trusting in the divine that everything will work out I don't get that in you but I, I do feel like you're taking the first step towards something which is very fool like but there's also an energy around this of thinking thought involved thinking about what will be the best course of action for you so I get it as testing the waters I get it as you not being quite sure how to proceed but you're starting the process I do get with this one it's an energy here if you're not sure if you're going to fall flat on your face or if you're going to be able to succeed let's have a look and see what's happened in the past the hanged man in reverse so there has been a stagnancy a feeling that you haven't been able to to get out of a, a situation could have been a job or a relationship maybe a place something that you had a lot of hope for dreams the dreams were involved with this something that you hoped would come to uh, uh, a good end but then that something happened where you felt like things were not going the right way I, I get a uh, when I think of the, the wheel of fortune in this card I think of the wheel stopping at some point in the recent past for you and I do get this period of inaction not being sure about what you wanted to do so not doing anything at all which I think is good because I, I don't think that you wanted to take any kind of reckless action at all I feel this is more about needing more information the truth seeker gaining information before you're ready to take that first step now in the current energy we have the ace of cups lovely so this is a, an opportunity it may be a new opportunity it could be a renewal as well for something that's already in your life here Aries and a romantic opportunity a new opportunity to experience uh, deep love feelings an emotional connection of course with all aces it's an opportunity it has the potential to grow but we'll see what uh, what you're going to do with it here Aries in the near future you've got the two of swords so you have a decision to make and this is where we get this energy of something in your life that hasn't worked out I get broken dreams I get the disappointment being let down possibly by a person and I feel there is a, another choice around you for this may just be an opportunity to go towards new love now the thing that I get with this bats of Belf bats in the belfry for you Aries is that people around you think what are you what are you thinking Aries I mean you know what on earth are you thinking I, I mean it, it I, I get this energy that this tattered dreams card you haven't really spoken to many people about how you really feel about the relationship that you're currently in you've mostly kept it to yourself it's almost like a, a card here of a little bit of self-sacrifice it's, it's like you, you felt like you couldn't couldn't leave this and you were sacrificing your dreams to stay or because other people thought you should stay it may have been family friends that you didn't you didn't want to disappoint Aries 
but now you're being called in the near future to make this difficult choice although you're, you're still vacillating, you're deciding. But with these swords energies here I feel like you, there's something that you're being, you really want to do but you're not quite sure how to achieve that. Now as your advice or your best path to follow you do have the wheel of fortune. Wow Aries so I feel these cards are very much linked. It's recognition that for you this destiny wheel, this card of karma, of change, is constantly turning and it's recognizing that you have a chance around you to make changes. It's going to be up to you though Aries whether you take this opportunity. The advice is clearly saying that for you stagnancy is not a good idea you have to keep you have to keep this wheel going you have to keep you have to keep changing remember we had the card of, of uh, with the butterfly transformation change let's take a look at what's around you that's affecting you you have the sun in reverse so there's been a situation which has led to uh, I really get this energy around you of there were a lot of high hopes and expectations around whatever this is it's a relationship or it could be a family situation or a, a job a lot of high expectations that were that didn't work out and now there is unhappiness and you feel like there is a blockage towards you achieving that uh, sense of happiness and, and joy, fulfillment in your life. So whatever is around you right now, there's, there's a, you're not satisfied with it. It's not making you happy. Your hopes and fears, you have the emperor so I do feel that this is a person around you, it could be an older individual, this emperor. As a fear, it, it seems to me that you're fearing that how this person is going to react or how other people are going to react. It could be a father figure as well, it may be your father, you may be fearing how your father is going to react once he hears this news. I get news, telling people news that you're taking it or you want to take a different course of action here. That others aren't, they're thinking that you're, you're crazy or that you shouldn't be doing this. But I, I get this energy that you don't want to be stuck and you feel like you need to take some positive change in your life. And Aries, of course, the card of, we have Mars energy here. This is your card. We have this, this Mars energy with this, which does mean action. It, with Mars energy around you at the moment, I, I feel for you, uh, it's important for you to be true to yourself, authentic. And I feel that that's what you're going to do. You're going to be true to yourself. Meanwhile, there are other people around you that uh, you may be fearing are going to react negatively about this news that you're giving. Now, the outcome for you is temperance in reverse. Okay. So there is going to be a period of instability. A little bit of a chaotic environment, and I think that's what you're fearing. You're fearing upsetting the balance because I feel that where you are now there's balance, there, there's a, a certain amount of peace but by delivering this news you know that this is going to bring about some upset. So let's see, what is this temperance card in reverse for Aries? Six of cups, okay, family. I feel this relates to family. It's going to cause some upset with the family, this news. Again, I get possibly your father, Aries, uh, your father. He, I, I get the energy here that family doesn't want you to do this. It's 
to get another card outcome here for Aries. Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they, they don't want you to, to take action. They don't want you to, to leave something behind. Mm. Okay, so I, I, I feel for a lot of you here, you, you, you're making plans, but you're not revealing them yet because you know it's going to cause upset. But I get right in the center of this that, that you're going to have to, of course, when the time is right, tell people what uh, what your plan is and, uh, and I guess face the consequences is what I'm getting. It's, it's kind of like you're going to do an action, Aries, and then deal with it later. But you're not going to tell people first. That, that's what I'm getting. Let's get one more card here for Aries. You feel like it's better to ask for forgiveness afterwards rather than ask for permission. That's what I'm getting. Let's get one more card. And we also have the death card. So yeah, an ending so that you can have a new beginning. Transformation. Very transformative energy. So I do feel that you know that what you're planning to do is going to upset the family, but you're going to do it anyway. People are going to think that uh, it's a little bit off the wall, but you feel like you, you're going to, to go ahead and, and take the action and then you face the consequences, I feel. But, you know, it, it's what you want. <clears throat> Something around you hasn't worked out. For you, this wheel has to keep staying stay in motion. It's important. You don't want to stay stuck. You see an opportunity around you, and I, and I feel here, Aries, you're going to go for that opportunity and, uh, and deal with the aftermath here of the family after you've taken this action. Yeah, an ending so that you could have this new beginning. Very much an energy here of releasing the old and moving on with the new Aries. Wow. So let's get, to, I want to get one card for you from the Energy Oracle. Message for Aries. What is the message for Aries with this reading? Message for Aries. Message for Aries. What is the message for Aries? Message for Aries. Okay. The Angel of Balance. Okay, let's take a look. <clears throat> at that one I feel like there's an action that you need to take here in order to it, it's going to be a time of uh, tumultuous time in, in your family but for you you're not feeling balanced in your current circumstances so you you're, you have to stand in your own choice self honour I get being centered and self-honoring in your choices. Yeah, I do feel like there's an energy here of uh, whatever you're doing here may please the family, but it doesn't please you. So I feel that you need to break some uh, toxic pattern here. It's about bringing forth courage and wisdom that you need to break a toxic pattern. The affirmation with this card is about, I live a balanced and centered life. As I care for myself, the universe cares for me also. So I feel for you, it, it's important that you take care of your own needs. You deal with the family later, but ultimately you have to do what is best for you, Aries. So I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the very best. Don't forget to, to check out my mid-March in-depth readings that I have on my channel. Please check those out. Please like, share and subscribe if you're liking these quickies. And I will speak to you again very soon. Bye for now, Aries.